The first thing that I want us to remember before we slay our Goliath is we have to walk away from toxic people and toxic places. Walk away from toxic people and toxic places. Toxic places are places that have toxic people. And toxic people make toxic places. But sometimes if you stick around in a toxic place too long, you become toxic yourself. So you must understand one thing about your life is this. You cannot have a good life surrounded with toxic people. You cannot defeat a Goliath if you're surrounded with negative people. David knew one thing. I cannot defeat my Goliath if I keep being around these toxic people. You have to understand that there's four types of people in our lives. There are those who add, there's those who subtract. There's those who multiply and there's those who divide. But one thing is certain, no one in your life is not influencing you. They're either influencing for good or for bad. They're either adding or subtracting, but nobody in your life is neutral. People around us could be toxic. From the beginning, God was teaching his people how to walk away from toxic places and toxic people. God told Abraham, walk away from Ur of Chaldeans. God told Lot, walk away from Sodom. People of Israel were in a toxic place with a lot of toxic people called Egyptians who hurt them deeply physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually and God took a whole nation out of toxic people and toxic places. You cannot have your future to the fullest if you permit toxic people in your phone, in your Facebook, Instagram or in your schedule. They have to be removed. With love removed. If you have Potiphar's wife hanging out around you you're not going to make it in purity and you cannot witness to those you're tempted by. Can somebody say amen? amen. You can walk in a mall and pray Lord God clothe Victoria who has no secrets with clothes of righteousness. That is not going to work. You got to keep walking brother. Keep walking and let Victoria who has no secrets be witnessed by other Victorias who have secrets for the glory of God. You got to walk away from toxic places. This practically means if you go to places where toxic and afterwards you come out you're drained you come out you're empty for some people for many people toxic places is movie theaters you go in you watch and you come back you empty or sometimes you come back full of demons that's even worse for some people toxic places is certain friends you hang out with certain parties you go in and what they do there afterwards you come out your consciousness screams at you yells at you and you have to sleep with your consciousness it's no longer your friend and you feel like you just jumped in a pool of poop it's toxic place toxic people and for the purity of your life for the future of your life you have to understand nobody defeats their goliaths hanging out with toxic people Jesus came to the room and the girl was dead. They asked him, could you raise this girl from the dead? The problem with the room is that room had a lot of toxic people. And Jesus, before he raised the girl from the dead, if Jesus couldn't operate to his best potential around toxic people, who you think you are? Who you think you can operate to your fullest potential around some naysayers, negative people who abuse you, hurt you? You cannot. If Jesus couldn't do it, that is a lesson for you and me. You cannot operate to your fullest potential around toxic people and in toxic places. Jesus removed all of those people first and the Bible says then he came to the girl and he raised her from the dead. That is exactly what we must do. Remove toxic people and remove, walk away from toxic places. Amen.